Located just 10 kilometers from the Austrian border in Western Hungary is the country's oldest city, Sombothy. With a population of 80,000, it's the home of Hungarian goalkeeping icon Gabor Kirai, who in 2015 returned to play for Halidas, the team that gave him his professional debut. I haven't forgotten where I came from, as I was in goal here until I was 21 years old, playing nearly 100 matches. I was approached as a child in my youth by other clubs, and again as an adult. But I believe in Hungary, there's only one club for me, and that's Halidas. I grew up here, in this area. This is the house, this is the nursery, and the stadium is also here on the other side. I played for Halidas for nearly 15 years. When Gabor was growing up, he started to come down to my training sessions with his mother. He wanted to become a footballer, and as he grew, he joined the junior league and then the youth team, and finally the national team, where he holds a record for the most caps for Hungary. Our parents were good friends, so we grew up together. His father and my father also played together here for Halidas. And luckily for us, the time has now come that we can play together for Halidas, like our fathers did too. And through this small path is where I would go between the house and the stadium. I started from here and I managed to get as far as the Premier League. After impressing for Halidas, Kirai moved to German side Hertha Berlin, where he stayed for seven years before Crystal Palace came calling. Everyone was talking about England, the Premier League, the traditions, the atmosphere, and interestingly, I really wanted to go to England. But tonight, when Palace have to start showing what they're made of, if they are to stay at the highest level. The most important one is the first match, be it a league, a Champions League or a club match, any kind of match. Fulham had a great team at the time, and so did Crystal Palace. Andy Johnson was marching ahead and scored goal after goal in that season. The atmosphere was really good. On by Rehilati, Johnson looks to get in here! And what characterizes the Palace fans is that the atmosphere is very family-like. And this cannot really be described with words. It has to be experienced. Slightly unusual way for Gabor Kirai. This is a story that goes back 20 years. It started here at the Zambote Stadium. At the time, I had a pair of grey trousers and also black ones. The black ones didn't get washed that day, and I had to play in the grey trousers. That day, we had a championship match. And from that point on, for eight or nine games, we didn't lose. And so the team stabilized its position in the first league around mid-table. And from then on, I thought that these trousers bring me luck. In the Premier League, I was told that wasn't fashionable and I shouldn't wear them. I'm sure in our trade you do need a little luck. Maybe the grey trousers do bring luck, but there's a lot of work behind it. It needs a lot of effort. The Premier League is an unforgiving place, but the former Hungarian international was prepared for the intensity of the English top flight. A very wise ex-goalie once told me that there are 10 players, and the 10 players can hide behind each other, but there's only one goalie, and that one goalie must take all the responsibility. It is Wayne Rooney for Manchester United. It's a fine save, a really good stop by the Hungarian, plunging to his right. What a super save from Gabor Kirai. 
What a finish to the season. The Crystal Palace players looked pretty relaxed backstage. They know that they must not get distracted by the news from elsewhere. I wasn't nervous before the last game, before Charlton, since I knew what the team was capable of. And we were in the lead 2-1 towards the end of the match. And then, in the 82nd minute, we conceded a goal. It was a free kick that they shot at a sharp angle, a header. Late goal for Charlton Athletic. And this, you sense, is vital. And at that moment, that draw was like losing. He's blown for time. Crystal Palace are relegated again. And I'll never forget that Simon Jordan, the chairman, came down onto the grass. He said to Ian Dowie that this team must stay together. We've got to get back into the Premier League and that he would do everything in his power to support the team. True to his word, Kirai stayed loyal to the South London club. 18 months later, the Hungarian was a regular in the second tier as Palace challenged for a place in the Premier League. However, over in the Midlands, there was a goalkeeping crisis at Villa Park and Martin O'Neill turned to Kirai to solve his injury problems. After a month's loan at Aston Villa, Kirai returned to Selhurst Park before leaving the Eagles for rivals Burnley at the end of the 2006-07 season. Following a six-year spell in Germany with 1860 Munich and a brief period at Fulham, Hungary's record cap holder is now looking to give something back to his local community. I got this sports facility built in 2003 when I was 27 or 28 years old. But by that point, I was already thinking about my future. My parents came from this part of town, and my father, when he was a child, played football in this area. But back then, there was no building. It wasn't a quality pitch like this. I'm from here. We played on the old pitch around the early 70s. Then Gabor had the idea to build this new pitch. And since then, this beautiful stadium has been built. It was a small field, and he grew up here. Then he became a top-flight player in Halidas. And so I said I'd like to build this pitch back here so the children in the area have the opportunity to play. Now fully contributing to Zombothi's sporting infrastructure, the former Palace number one is eager to walk out at his club's new home. My objective at this time is to do as well as possible in Halidas, to perform to the best of my ability, and to get onto the pitch in the new stadium at least once. I always imagined when I started to play football in the first division that one day I would play together for Halidas with Gabi. I'm very proud of Gabor and what he's doing now. He's really worked hard to become a footballer. And I don't really have to explain this, because all the records, the newspapers and his book tell the story. If you can go to work happy every day, then that's motivation enough. I have to keep myself fit and I have to pay attention in training. But I believe I'm succeeding. Uh, as she can.